Hey, Mr. Parker here to review the new one from Tear Optics. Uh, I also believe this is going to be released by Wild Eye Releasing. This is uh, the third Cockface, Grime Wave, uh, Cockface 3. If you guys are not familiar with uh, Terra Optics, they did stuff like Stabbed in the Face, Attacked Cockface Killer, which is the first one in the series, and Gorgasm, which is the second one in the series. I'm a big fan of Gorgasm. Uh, I showed that to my friends a lot of times, uh, a lot of different people, and they some of them were happy, some of them got it, some of them were not very happy about it, considering the movie is highly raunchy, highly disgusting, and highly ridiculous, and uh, definitely an acquired taste. Uh, this one is no different. Uh, uh, we're back to the cockface killer who is essentially just this kind of a mentally handicapped person with a penis and a mask and they go around, they're sexually frustrated and they go kill people that are having sex like any good slasher should do. So uh, essentially he runs around killing people until this reporter catches on that uh, this has got to be the same guy. He starts hunting for the cockface killer, becomes uh, falls into a world of deprave, depravity himself trying to lure the cockface killer out so he can get an interview with him. Uh, this film all leads up to this giant uh, sex Olympics type deal, which this whole city is corrupt and uh, insane. There's also this biker gang going on and this ninja gang that team up to try to kill the cockface killer. Uh, and the, the, the whole movie leads up to the very ending here, which is kind of a... a I guess you'll say uh, a fuck Olympics is I think what they call it. I can't remember what they call it, but essentially it's all the perverts in the region that go around and you know they have games like jizzing on the who can jizz the hardest and the, the most and stuff like that. And of course the cockface killer crashes the party, but he's not alone. Uh, they bring this weird enemy towards to fight him. I'm not going to give anything away how they bring him back, but anyways, what happens is this great uh, video game style fight. Uh, this movie's uh, filled with familiar uh, people from Terra Optics. You'll recognize almost all the people in the background and the side characters. They have all been in series of the movies. And there's really a shocking gay sex scene in here that I did not see coming. Uh, there's lots of nudity in the film, lots of gross things. There's real pee, which kind of shocked me as well. They definitely no holes barred stuff in here where I was thinking, I can't believe they're doing this and, uh, and a lot of things. It is very gross. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was digging it completely as, uh, until the very ending. The last 20 minutes definitely won me over. I love the last the, the fuck Olympics is a, is a hilarious idea, a pool full of semen. Just the nastiest stuff and the, the fun they had in there. They definitely had that cool style. There's digital effects in the film. Uh, I like some of them. I don't like others. But uh, when they do the uh, fighting and stuff like that, it, it works well. It's, a, it's kind of like comic book-esque for sure. Speaking of comic book, uh, segue. But uh, they also released a comic book with it, which has three stories in here. I, I read them. They're pretty funny. There's a typical cockface killer story attacking these young uh, couple having sex, their parents and stuff like that. And then there's one where he fights a swamp monster, and then there's the one with a cult, which actually appear in this movie, this weird sex cult. Yeah, this movie is very bizarre. If you're if you're into the Terra Optics movies, they're like I said, super raunchy, and maybe like some people describe them with uh, trauma on steroids or something like that. But uh, I really love Gorgasm, and my only complaint about uh, this one, my only major complaint, is uh, the cop who I, I believe he's in this one as well. I believe he plays the leader of the biker gang, but. Uh, he played a character in the other one that was this hilarious cop that really kind of stole the show. And uh, he's not, that character does not appear in this movie, and it kind of leaves it at a cliffhanger on the last one. I really would have liked to see what happened to that character because he was probably my favorite character from the whole series. But uh, yeah, the soundtracks in the, these films are usually, uh, a lot of these guys are in bands, so it's a lot of them. Uh, some of the music, uh, you know, is cool, some I don't care for. That's just a personal preference, and uh, I'm more of a score kind of guy. But uh, with this film, the kind of, uh, I guess, punk rock attitude and like loud, crazy music music and stuff like that really kind of fits with the attitude of the film although like I said I'm more of a score guy myself but uh, yeah if you guys are interested in this there'll be information below uh, I believe Wild Eye is going to release this one so check out wildeyereleasing.com they release a bunch of stuff and tearoptics.com for more raunchy madness but uh, yeah if you haven't seen the the cockface killer movies I'd say check them out especially Gorgasm that well, if you guys can get past uh, the really if you like the raunchy and gross and weird and just bizarre and you know uh dangling penises and big boobs and just crazy pee flying everywhere then uh check this one out it's a really weird weird movie but uh gross for sure as well but i'm mr parka thank you very much for watching and here's probably the trailer i threw up in my mouth a little but i was in a crowd theater so i had to read it hey fuckers who the fuck gave them a camera this movie and now the government is watching me. My eyes! My eyes! Oh my god, my eyes! The 
single most reprehensible film I've ever seen. I, your kids are gonna love it. Why did I watch this? 